this is Kenzo. So today it's Sunday. So let's do our weekly analysis here. It's Nasdaq 100. Uh, so let's see what's go uh, what's gonna happen this coming week. So we can see that uh, our anal uh, our Nasdaq is pushing very high. You see, the uptrend is very strong. So let's just zoom out a bit and still draw our usual trend line so that we don't forget where the market is going let's see let's connect our dots mm, let's connect we can connect from here uh, to somewhere here let's see somewhere here so let's do the upper one so actually nasdaq is very strong and it's moving uh, uh, on a very nice uptrend so it means that's why i said on the last video we don't have to think about selling anytime soon so yeah okay so our market is like this you can see the market when it reaches this point just move bounce back even if maybe here we are not very close i can also draw another one here something like this because actually this is a it's a zone it's not a strictly a thin line like this so around this point the market rejects when the market reaches this point the market just push down so mm, yeah something like that you can see this around this area even if here the market just went up you can see even here but when the market reaches this zone the market will go down so my uh, analysis today i'm waiting for the market to come here uh, to come this sorry 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 this it's the biggest line uh, i am waiting for the market to reach this point to drop or to break it then we can buy from here so just because i'm trade uh, we analyzing for the, for the week we're gonna only use for our time frame so at the moment our market is very close to a, a resistant or if it breaks then we're gonna think or analyze about buying here so at the moment the market is very clear so maybe tomorrow or early in the morning the market when opens it will be somewhere here maybe we don't know then if the market broke this line then we will be thinking about the market to come and retest then we can buy but here we don't know if the market will respect this zone here so we can't do anything we're just waiting for the market to respect or to break so on monday check those things whether the market will respect this point or will break this point if the market breaks uh, this point here if the market break this point it's when so is we have a chance of buying but we'll wait for the market to come and retest maybe on tuesday because on monday sometimes things are very slow so this line is the one that let me just Uh, this line is the one that we, we are waiting for if it breaks this zone if nasdaq breaks that zone if the nasdaq break this one this zone then we'll be waiting for it to come and retest because sometimes if it doesn't retest it might mean that it was a fake breakout you can ca just come and start to drop again so that's why we have to wait for the market to come and try to retest here sometimes it might come even retest twice then we can have nice buys actually so if 
the opposite happen if the market maybe it's unable to break this point it means we will be waiting for for the market to uh, to come and sorry 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 uh, if the market is unable to break our area then we'll wait again for the market to reach somewhere here let me just move this to to reach somewhere here mm, let me sorry to reach somewhere here then we can simply buy around here because here it's around our buy zone actually if you can see here it's our support area the resistance it's here then it's where we can think about buying but at the moment we'll just wait for the market to drop or if it doesn't drop we'll wait for the market uh, to break and retest then we go to go so that's it for the week uh, if you are not subscribed please hit that subscribe button you can like and also share your idea there on the comments and what maybe if maybe i didn't explain something i can do another video and maybe you can understand it very well thank you guys for watching